we are on a mission today, a mission to Big Lots. <laughs> That's our fun for the day. We're heading to Big Lots to look for tartan tinies and wacky wafers. My absolute favorite candy as a kid were tartan tinies. Every time we'd go to the movies at the Man 6, there was a candy store next door that sold tartan tinies in bulk. And we would scoop them, get a giant bag, and take them to the movies with us. And they were discontinued, I believe, like in the late 90s. And they came back in 2014, better than ever. Leaf started in the 1920s by the Leaf family, and by the 1990s, they were one of the top 10 candy producing companies in the world, and one of the top four here in North America. They eventually sold to the Hershey Company in 1990s. They brought us such classics as Whoppers, Milk Duds, Jolly Ranchers, and of course, Rainbow Bubblegum. In 2011, the Leaf family got back together and wanted to revive the brand and bring some classics back to the marketplace. So in 2014, Tartan Tinies was reintroduced. And I was one of the ones on the interest list waiting for those candies to come out. And I ordered a giant case of them. <laughs> so for months, I ate Tartan Tinies. and came out with a bag <laughs> where the cool stuff they had so much old vintage like candy and like snacks and treats in there we'll show it to you when I get home I managed to get both the wacky wafers and the tartan tinies which now come with a new flavor blue raspberry so these were reintroduced in 2014 to the market after disappearing off of shelves in the uh, 1990s Leaf also brought back a Spangler candy, which is Astro Pops. And Astro Pops were another one of my favorite candies. Every time we would go to Alvera Street, when I was little, I'd get an Astro Pop from one of the vendors. So they didn't have them, or at least I didn't see them at the big lots we were just at. So we're gonna head to the other big lots on Sycamore and see if they have them there. No luck at the other big lots on the Astro Pops, but maybe I'll try Rite Aid before we head home. I, th I know I've seen them, but then you're on a mission for something, you can't find it. Just got back from Big Lots and scored, so I'm gonna show you what we got. And the reason I went to Big Lots, Leaf Brands, which I was telling you about earlier, announced on Facebook that Big Lots was now carrying the Tartan Tinies and wacky wafers, so that's why I went to Big Lots. Now, truth be told, I go to Big Lots probably twice a week for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so here's the receipt from all the stuff that we bought. Let's try these first. They are the Leaf Brand Tartan Tinies. And like I said, we used to buy these all the time when I used to go to the movies as a kid. We would stack them and put them in our mouth. There you go. Just like I remember. If you've never had them, they're kind of like a sweet tart or a smarty. We used to stack them, eat them just like that. I dropped one on the floor. <laughs> you pick it up before the dog gets it. So these tartan tinies per pack were $1.49. Manufactured by Leaf Brands Newport Coast, California. So Orange County. It's an Orange County candy. And you eat them like this. Also a Leaf brand, Wacky Wafers. We've got green apple. Green apple is always my favorite flavor. Strawberry, orange, watermelon, and banana. Banana. Let's try these. I have not had these in forever. I couldn't even tell you what these taste like. It's been so long. Oh yeah. These were $1.69. Kind of hard to describe the taste. A little bit sour, a little tart. Green apple is really good. Oh, 
That brings back memories. And so I've got a lot of these now. Thank you, Leaf, for bringing these back. While I was in Big Lots, I found a bunch of other vintage candies. Look at these, who remembers these? Let's see if these taste like I remember. It's not made by Leaf, but fun nonetheless. Those flavors you could probably pass on, but I thought it was nostalgic. Next up, Big League Chew. Who remembers Big League Chew? It used to come in little pouches. Now it comes in a baseball bat in bubblegum form. Let's try these. Mm. Different shape, tastes exactly the same as it used to. One of my favorite things to collect other than baseball cards when I was little was wacky packs. Do you remember wacky packs? I saw these at Big Lots a couple weeks ago and I was so excited. They come with, the, they used to be little cards, I believe, and they come with little toys that are kind of knockoff brands. Like the package says Crips Ahoy for the Chips Ahoy, Sore Burst for Starburst, Silverfish for the Goldfish Crackers. Each one comes with a little toy on top, and this one is Fielder's Coffee. This was $6, this was not worth the money, but I thought it was a little bit of nostalgia. So it says, open here, let's see what's inside, all right. So there's the fake little thing of Folgers coffee. On the inside, oh this is so cool. There's a little sticker, Hawaiian Punks for Hawaiian Punch. Oh there's all kinds of toys in here, look. There's a bunch of them in here. A bunch of little toys, okay so maybe this was worth six dollars. And you can, oh this is series one. So this is back also from back in the day. Oh look, they have Big League Spew. So this is all the ones that you can collect. So much fun. So I guess some of those are in these little packages. So the one that's on top you know you're getting and then the rest are a surprise. But I'm gonna wait on this and not open this. This is pretty cool. Anybody that used to go to the mall in the 1980s or 90s used to go to all the crazy gift shops and they might have remembered these. It's a Taco Pez dispenser. This was $1.50. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what's inside of it, so let's see. Let's open it up. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at this. It literally is a transformer. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look at it. It turns into a truck. So this was only $2. There are eight different ones that you can collect. Oh look at there was a hole in the side so you kind of know which one you're getting. Ah, smart. I didn't see that in the store. Um, this video was not sponsored by Leaf Brands and they didn't send me any of this. I actually went to Big Lots as you saw and purchased all of it myself. Leaf Brands was just the Tartan Tinies and the Wacky Wafers but it kind of prompted me to purchase all these other goodies that brought back a little bit of nostalgia from my childhood. If you're not already following the channel, please do so. And you can find us also on social media at The Funnel Cake Blog on Facebook, Instagram, of course here on YouTube, and also Twitter. Until then, enjoy your candy.